there's always a paradigm shift. The way a paradigm shift is, it's like it, there's a 10-year period. And almost every 10-year period is the opposite of the t 10 years before. The right, 70s right. produced the 80s. Yeah, I was amazed to see that. It bears out, doesn't it? Yeah. And, and, well, the reason is, at the end of a per period of time, everybody believes that the future will be like the last 10 years. Right. And everybody's positioned that way. So when you look at the environment that we had over the last 10 years, not inflation, no um, low interest rates, availability of credit. So these moves take place typically over a period of uh, 10 years and there, let's say two legs, two legs to the move. Um, so you have um, a change in mindset. Um, people thinking what is safe. Used to think that cash was safe, a safe investment. But cash doesn't, it loses buying power to inflation. So now as people realize that that loses buying power, and as the Fed has to deal with the tightening of monetary policy, you get the first leg. And that's the first leg that we're in. And when that runs its course, which it probably would run its course, I would say in the next 18 months or so, then you so have- 18 more months of, of tightening? Yes, I mean, okay. 18 more months of, and, and by the way, there's nothing precise, and I'm not sure that I'm right in, in this, right? I'm just saying, I'm giving you what I think. Right. 